What's up guys, Jake here where Jake's got herps, not to be confused with herpes because herpes is nasty. And in this video, first of all, I'd like to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I know I'm a date late, but uh, I've been kind of busy. And uh, I am thankful for all of you guys who watch my videos, who comment. Uh, I get a lot of really nice comments and it does make my day. It makes me want to, you know, make a video. I would make more, but you know, I mean, when you do videos about animals, you really only have... You know, so many videos you can make before you have to start repeating the things that you already did. But with that being said, thank you guys a lot for uh, the comments I've been getting. You guys are great. And uh, because Thanksgiving is a time where you eat a lot of food, I figure I do a little feeding video for you guys. I'm going to be feeding my uh, firebelly toads and my gray tree frog. I'm not going to feed my Pac-Man frog right now just because he doesn't really eat in front of me. Like, I've never seen him eat, but... I'm pretty confident he's been eating because he is a lot bigger. He looks a lot thicker. So I think, I I mean, I put crickets in at night, and I don't really see as many crickets as I put in. So I'm assuming he ate, and he does look a lot thicker. So I'm assuming he's eaten, but I haven't actually seen him eat. So maybe I'll set up some kind of like night vision cam or something at some point. Uh, if I get the money or if I get a, a, you know, a Christmas present or something, and I keep a towel on top just to help keep some of the humidity in. And I'll be feeding these guys uh, medium-sized crickets and, you know, calcium dust. Calcium is always good for them, especially because, you know, with bugs, bugs don't really have um, much calcium because they don't have any bones. And I'm just going to slide this off. Hopefully I don't get too many in here. Don't eat the plant. Oh, there we go. And I'll probably shake some more in there. Uh, there is three of them in here. Not all of them eat at the same time. Like, sometimes one will get more than the others. But, um, it usually evens out. I feed them quite often, so it usually, uh, it works out to where the one that's not over there at the time will get some. It's kind of hard to shake out these crickets with one hand. If you'll notice, I had a lot of hard water stands in the front. I still do in the bottom. I looked online, and some of the things you can do, you can try using uh, hot water. Hot water works pretty well. And uh, I used vinegar, actually. I took uh, some paper towel with some vinegar, and that worked pretty well. I didn't do all of it because I don't want to get any in the water and, you know, hurt my, hurt my frogs or anything. But, as you can see, they eat really well. Um, I don't actually see this one out a lot usually stays in the little hut but I'm surprised that I've actually seen them out he or she I'm not really sure I don't really know how to tell the difference but they get kind of aggressive at feeding time so they might try and you know bite each other a little bit which is alright because they kind of had their own little established sort of territories I know it's only a 10 gallon tank but they all, they all sort of know you know what's up so they're still pretty cool little guys though and yeah maybe if they're still eating I'll, I'll come back to them this guy looks like he's gonna. Yeah, see, they kind of, they're kind of food aggressive, but um, I do feed them plenty though. And here's this guy. This guy's a great eater as well. He usually does something pretty cool. He'll always, you know, jump off where he's at and try and like dive bomb. It's pretty cool. I usually feed him large crickets, actually. As you can see, he's pretty big. But I usually just feed him whatever I have a lot of. And right now, that's medium and small crickets. So I might throw in a couple larger ones if I can get these out hard to do with one hand. Let's see. And he always tries to eat the bag. I'm not... I don't, why are you eating the bag? That's not uh, intelligent. It's going to be hard to see, but he'll always jump down and do something cool. If I get over here. I 
I'm actually gonna upgrade it. Here we go. This might this might turn out pretty good. And there we go. I might do another feeding video of this guy maybe eating some more crickets. I didn't, I couldn't really shake them all out, and uh, didn't really have that many small ones left in the bag. I probably shook a lot more into here than I thought. But he's a really, really good eater. Oh, see, I, I missed him right there, but he ate another one. I'll try and get, um, try and do another feeding video maybe with some large crickets or some superworms or something. I do have quite a bit of superworms. I was expecting this guy to eat them like ferociously, and uh, I never ate them, so I have. A lot of little things of super worms, so I'm gonna have to find something for them. Yeah, so this is a little feeding video for you guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, uh, you know, leave leave a rating or you know, subscribe if you want to see more videos or you know, check out some of my other videos. But once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos and uh, for leaving really nice comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.